Hi, my name is Ana Mingorance. I'm a specialist in drug discovery and development for epilepsy, and I'm currently the Chief Development Officer for the Lulu Foundation. The field of drug development in epilepsy has been a very successful field, and in the recent years we've seen a transition from broad epilepsy labels into orphan epilepsy indications, and these are rare epilepsy syndromes. So there's been an evolution in that, from broader symptomatic into syndrome specific, and also an evolution in the type of companies working on the space. We've got from big pharma, mainly in the main players, to having many smaller biotechs that are working on these individual syndromes. What we're seeing in epilepsy is happening also broader within drug development and it's a transition from broad, large indications into orphan size indications. And that responds to different reasons. One reason is the market push away from the large market. And that's because it becomes more and more difficult to get a drug approved or to get a place in the market. So that attracts company to smaller diseases that often have nothing approved. So it's easier to get something approved and take that market. And a second reason would be technology pulled towards that direction, because technology has helped us see now through genetics that many of those diseases that we used to think as one are actually a collection of orphan size, small diseases. So now we identify them. And also through technology, now we can target them. We can go after those genes. So between the market pushing them away from large diseases and technology making it possible to act on these small ones, the entire field has moved roughly from seeing a couple of large diseases to hundreds of thousands of small ones. One of the opportunities that companies find and researchers find when working in the orphan space is that when you're developing a drug for a rare disease, and that means it's an orphan drug, you are eligible for a number of incentives under the Orphan Drug Act. And that means seven years of market exclusivity in the US, 10 in other countries and some tax rebates and not having to pay fees. So it's an attractive space from the law perspective. So despite all of the incentives and the attractive aspects that the orphan space offers to drug developers, there's still some important challenges inherent to having a very small patient population. For example, you might not have experts. Uh, you might not have enough patients to recruit for a trial, or it might be very difficult to design the trial, or maybe regulators don't agree with the indication, or maybe you get all of this in place, but then you don't have enough of a market to get a return on investment. So this is still a very challenging space in itself. The way the field is going in general in medicine is towards orphanization, which is dividing the large diseases into small orphan-sized diseases and also personalized medicine. And what is exciting of this is that we're not just dividing them, we're also moving from targeting the symptom, that is what's broad, to targeting the cause. So we're starting to see new therapies coming up that are really addressing the disease, and those are going to be transformational. So it's a very exciting time to be in drug development in epilepsy.